Oh, hi there. I was just watching the birds. Do you hear them? Sometimes you hear them all the time, right? But you never get the slightest glimpse. But that's what this show is all about. My name is Ian Lank, and this is Birds in Action. Welcome to another episode of Birds in Action. Everyone knows those friendly, trusting creatures, robins, right? Well, that's what this episode is all about, and I hope you enjoy these clips I've taken over the summer. Thanks for watching. The Latin Treehouse. Hey, are you ready for the Latin Treehouse? Well, let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to show you guys this priceless view. And to prove that we're very high up in the sky, let me drop something to the ground. Okay, let's get started. The scientific name of the American robin is Turtus migratorius, and that is Latin for thrush, migrate, or the migrating thrush. You see, a thrush is a type of bird, and robins are in the thrush family. A robin to a European is a small little bird. They still have red bellies, but they're a different bird. European robins are not in the thrush family. American robins, though, are in the thrush family. We just call them robins because they resemble European robins. But really, they're thrushes, as their Latin name says, Turdus 
which means thresh. Thanks for joining me in the Latin Treehouse. Now, let's go learn some bird facts. And welcome to the Gazebo Bird Facts. Today's episode was all about robins, so I have one robin fact for you. Have you ever looked out your window after a long winter, and then you see a robin? Hey look, the robins are back. Spring must be here. Well, if you've said that, you've been completely right. Winter comes, usually robins migrate south. Unless you live south, then you know robins to come to your place. Anyway, robins migrate south to get away from the cold northern country. Only the hardiest of robins stay back. Robins are very much summer birds. You may see them fighting or digging for worms, enjoying the sunshine all season long. They even sing together at dawn and at dusk. They sing this carol and it sounds like they're saying, cheerily, cheerily, cheerily. Yes, that's a true fact. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these robin facts and the gazebo of bird facts. Now, let's watch some more birds. and you can hear the robins. That's the sound they make. Thanks for watching Birds in Action with Zion Lang. I hope you've learned something, but that's all for Robins until next time. The only day not yesterday is tomorrow unless you're living in the future. Anyway, good day, have a nice day, and keep on keeping on. Please consider subscribing, and if you have any suggestions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Birds in Action.